Live from downtown Mobile, this is Mardi Gras 2015. You are looking at the balcony where we are located in our Mardi Gras headquarters in downtown Mobile. Good evening. I'm Darwin Singleton. And I am Colton Bradford. We are ready for the crew of Columbus as Mardi Gras gets into the weekend before Fat Tuesday. It's going to be a great parade tonight. And we are prepared tonight. <laughs> yes. We have goggles. It's another men's organization, which means that Darwin and I will, uh, we will probably get pelted with all kinds of stuff. And our poor staff that has to uh, run around and, and, and block everything. Now, else. you had a hard hat on here <laughs> earlier. Did you, are you going to use that? You better believe it. Yeah. I'm going to use everything to protect myself it from... Crazy. from the craziness stripers last night just about did us in so it's going to be a lot of fun tonight if you're all getting ready to leave wear a coat because it is chilly but the wind isn't as bad tonight that's right it's not as bad and again we're on the corner of conception and government street waiting for the parade to make its way over here again thanks to nai mobile our balconies are off the chain oh and by the way tonight's sponsor shrimp basket yum that it, they are great. Yeah, they Have are great. Eaten, they, I mean, just they give you a lot. The food is great. The food is fresh. Shrimp basket. There's one near you. They've got a lot of locations because they're so good. They keep getting bigger. Yes. So uh, we appreciate that. And for tonight's broadcast, you will catch uh, Jonesy's crowned jewels. I heard them warming up earlier. They Darwin. are great. They are awesome. We you have got a house band on the balcony. You do not want to miss them. Plus, most barbecue is also in the kitchen tonight. They're back tonight. Okay. <laughs> By the way, there's no room on that balcony because the band takes up every bit of space. <laughs> they're five members of that band and they brought everything with them that they own <laughs> i think there's even like suitcases of their clothes out there i mean there's <laughs> everything out there so it's going to be a great show tonight i'm going to let you get to the party balcony but i'm going i'm just having fun put, putting this light on you is that mesmerizing or <laughs> yes. what shoddy objects at mardi gras just attract me all right go ahead and head up to the party patio or the party balcony because we're going to get ready for the parade out here and give you a chance to get uh, the band organized out there. First of all, let's take a look at where we've come. If you've been watching our broadcast, you know that we've enjoyed the Order of Polka Dots. We've uh, also broadcast here on UTV 44 Inca, the Order of Venus, the Order of Lachie, Mystic Stripers, and now on Friday the 13th, we are prepared to pr bring you the crew of Columbus. That is tonight. But look, we've got so much more to go. We've added Mystics of Time tomorrow night. That's a showstopper for Mobile, a favorite for the crowd, and we were able to squeeze that in. We are so glad, and hopefully next year we can expand us, uh, our coverage even more. Now, that takes us to Monday night, the Infant Mystics, of course, Monday night, followed by the Doves, the Doves' new organization, and they are parading for the first time on Monday night. And then, of course, we have a whole bunch of Fat Tuesday parades on Local 15, all morning long, but for uh, the evening broadcast on UTV 44, we'll have the Mamga Parade right here, and also the Double OM's Order of Myths to wrap up Mardi Gras 2015 on Fat Tuesday. But let's talk about tonight, shall we? It is all for the crew of Columbus. This night belongs to them. They are an old group. They were founded in 1921. Their first parade was in 1922. Uh, tonight's theme, not really sure exactly how they're going to interpret this, but it's going to be interesting. It's called Run, Run, Run. They'll have 18 floats and uh, also be watching for uh, the crew of Columbus's signature floats, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, or the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. They'll be rolling down at the head of the parade. Uh, run, run, run. And once again, we'd like to thank the Shrimp Basket, our sponsors for tonight. We are so looking forward to uh, all the fun that we're going to have here tonight from our party balcony. And speaking of our party balcony, let's go to Colton Brad from 95KSJ. He is over there prepared to let us have it with some music and some delicious food. Take it away, Colton. Yes, thank you, Dar. And it is going to be an epic night of music and great food here at our Making Mardi Gras headquarters. I'm hanging with Jonesy with her Crown Jewels band. All right, Jonesy, now I heard you warming up earlier tonight. You guys have a sound unlike any other on the Gulf Coast. Tell everyone kind of, if they've never heard you before, explain that sound. All right. Uh, well, first, it's a pleasure being here tonight. We are Jonesy's Crown Jewels Band, and uh, most of the time our, our sound is pretty much like funk jazz, a little pop, soul, rock into that, but mostly funk jazz. Nice. Yes. Nice. <laughs> now, I have to ask you about the uh, the face paint because Darwin Darwin said that he was jealous that he didn't get any face paint on him tonight. Well, I'm jealous of his jacket, so <laughs> we can trade. But yeah. the fac facial painting, I, I call us the Royal Tribe. Oh. 
Oh, so nice. when people see us coming, they I have the kings with me, and I'm the queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jonesy, are you ready to uh, to rock and roll tonight? Yeah, we're ready to jam. All right, Jonesy and her crown jewels getting ready to kick off Mardi Gras this Friday night. You are making Mardi Gras on UTV 44. <laughs> Yes, the sounds of Jonesy and the Crown Jewels filling our Make It Mardi Gras kitchen. I am hanging with my friend, the main man over at Moe's Original Barbecue, Mark. Okay, now, this is one of the moments where you need smell vision because it smells so good in here, does it not? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so what's on the menu for us tonight, Mark? Tonight we're doing a little blackened fish and grits, something we do every Friday, but uh, especially going after Mardi Gras, Lent's coming into effect, and every Friday we we'll be eating fish down at Moe's. All right, all right, so break us through step one tonight. Real simple, just get a hot, really hot pan, cut your fish in your favorite blackening spice. We like to use uh, Paul Perdon's blackened, blackened uh, redfish. Um, 
Get a real hot pan, put the fish in there. When it starts to turn it white about halfway up, flip it. Takes about three, four minutes, and you're done, ready to roam. Nice. All right. And what about the grits? How are the where are the grits? The grits are behind us, right? Grits, we, um, at most we do a grits casserole. It's got Koneka sausage, onion, jalapeno, Yum. cheese, all that in there. It's dynamite. Actually, after the, uh, after the show last night, I went and got dinner at most. so. Awesome. I'm there all the time. All right, now, speaking of being there all the time, I know that y'all have plenty going on this Mardi Gras weekend. Oh, Lord, it's uh, ground zero for Mardi Gras. Um, tomorrow, or on Sunday, actually, we have the Pine Hill Hanes and then festivities all day long. And then uh, on Fat Tuesday, we have Ben Jernigan and friends. And Another Gulf Coast favorite? Yeah, y'all know how Mardi Gras is. It's an all-day affair, and uh, Joe Kane Day and Fat Tuesday, it'll be going on for you. So you can eat and drink and be merry and hang out with all your friends at Moe's Original Barbecue. And you guys are getting ready to open up another location, too, right? Yeah, yeah, we actually got two more locations going. Uh, Airport and University will be in March 1st, and then uh, Fol Foley will be opening up April 1st. So uh, we got a lot going on, and uh, just trying to make it all happen. Nice. All right, so what's next for uh, our fish right now? So really pretty much um, before you do your fish, make your grits casserole, and then the fish is just the final ending of it all, you know? It takes three or four minutes, and then you're ready to eat. Awesome. All right, well, we'll get a final look at it a little bit later on in the show, but before we do, let's talk about the Mardi Gras bushwhackers that you guys brought. Yeah, you know, uh, bushwhackers are indigenous to uh, the Redneck Riviera. It is something that uh, we take pride in at most. And during Mardi Gras, we um, color them to uh, be festive and whatnot. But, yeah, uh, so you can see these are uh, these are green tonight, right? Yeah, we got green, yellow, and purple going on at most. So. Let's see, are you right here? We want to give us a cheers one time before we toss to Darwin? Now, I know that Darwin has a very important guest and a Mardi Gras icon hanging out on the parade balcony. And while Darwin chats with him, I'm going to uh, eat up a little bit and sip on this bushwhacker. Darwin, how is it going on the parade balcony? A lot of action out here. The police are getting the streets cleared, getting ready for the parade with the crew of Columbus to come down here in just a few minutes. Someone who knows about the crew of Columbus and a lot of Mardi Gras history. With me now, Wayne Dean, who has also spent a lot of time dressed up as Chief Slankabat Marenico, Joe Kane's personification of the Indian chief that uh, he helped. Uh, they did a lot of things. Did a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? There's so much to go with that history. If you don't know it now, we, you, you can just have study up on it. We're going to talk right. about some other things right, tonight. Right. Right. Uh, yeah. You told me some other. You told me some things that really fascinated me. How many balls do you think you've been to? As of last night, 873. 807, and you know Plus how many? Plus or minus. Two percent, I guess. That's pretty close. Yeah, I went back and yeah, I went back. Uh, somebody asked me that question. I said I don't know, you know. So I went back and started <laughs> looking through, and came up with that figure. So it, it's pretty close. That's amazing. You, you'll hit a thousand soon. A few more Mardi oh, Gras. Sure, around. sure. I'm young. You were talking about well, you know what? You are when yeah. you if you love Mardi Gras, you're right, eternally right. young. You were saying you and your wife have come up with a system. It doesn't count as actually attending a ball unless right. you do certain things. Right. My daughter and I. Actually, oh, your uh, daughter, number, okay. yeah, a number of years ago, she got, she's like me. She's got the Mardi Gras bug. So she goes and she says, I'm going to beat Daddy this year. I'm going to go to more balls. And I said, well, we got to come up with a system. So it doesn't count on the numbers unless you go to the ball, uh, have a, at least one drink, okay. go in the food room, have a little bit to eat, and talk to some people. Interact with some friends or new friends. You can't just drive by run in, <laughs> put your foot in the door and say, I've been to that one, I'm gone. That does not that count. That does not count. All right. Yeah. So it that, it's oh, a little more. Not. And if necessary, you can dance, but, you know. If necessary. Yeah, if necessary. if dance, the mood strikes right, you. Right, right. But that didn't, you know, you don't lose your points <laughs> if you don't dance. <laughs> now, I want to ask you about something else. We were with the crew of Columbus here, and I'm talking to you this evening. I've known Wayne for years, but yeah. when you sit down and actually talk, you start hearing things that you haven't heard before. The crew of Columbus, you know a little bit about their history. Yes, so, yes. Sh share some of the things with well, me. Well, crew of Columbus, of course, back when I was growing up, was the first parade, so it always fascinated me. And this this character, Columbus, I didn't know a whole lot about history when I was a real small child because I hadn't, hadn't studied about Columbus, but he would come down the street on this magnificent world, and all he had to stand on was basically a platform with maybe that much rim around it and the world would be and the world would be spinning spinning, spinning and it was just fascinating a little small child this man standing on the world so and because literally that. he wasn't in a box he wasn't throwing 15,000 it looked like he was perched he on the was world. perched right on top of the world and there are old photographs of that 
Uh, and back, I guess it was in the 70s when the crew had a major fire and they destroyed all their floats. Oh, man. The builder went into the warehouse and actually went inside what was left of that world and found 1921, 22 newspapers that had been used to as build paper that mache. Of, as paper mache of wow. that original world. Wow, and it, look for it tonight. It'll be, it won't be as dramatic as Wayne just described it, but you will see that. That is their actual emblem, yeah, the emblem. Is, is Christopher Columbus on the world, and we use that for one of and our Mardi Gras trivia questions. It's still spectacular in today's, uh, in today's Mardi Gras, but not quite as impressive as a man riding on top of a spinning world. As, as through the eyes of a child, especially. Sure, sure. Is there anything else we should look for with this crew? I know they have three signature floats, which is the three ships of Columbus. Right. No, their floats are, especially in the last few years, have just gotten, seem to be bigger and better. They have magnificent figure work. Uh, Steve Muscle and his Mirth Company build yes. the parade. And uh, Steve is one of the best, I say Steve, Steve and his people, uh, figure people in the business in Mobile or New Orleans. So you can expect some unique floats, big floats, and uh, sometimes there's some special things. I have not been privileged to see their floats before the parade. Well, you shall uh, tonight. I shall see them in action tonight. Now, you are going to the ball as well. Yes. Or do you just like the, do you wake up like this every morning? No, I don't just wear this. Although <laughs> it is very comfortable, it's actually comfortable to me than a regular suit like you're wearing. Oh, well. But, uh, no, I am going to the ball, which will make 874. Lord, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Now, uh, also, you were telling me that you got a very special gift when you turned 21, and it's kind of become a family yes, tradition. Yes, yes. Uh, the day I turned 21, my grandmother gave me a full set of these costume de rigueur, white tie and tails, including the, all the whites. And that was back in the day when they had the collar button and you had to put it on, uh, you know. Oh, I don't think I could have open to, that. Open in the back and you put it on. Uh, and it, she said, well, I know you've never been to a ball because you haven't been old enough, but just your personality and loving the parades because I used to go to all the parades. Uh, I know when you go to one, you're going to want to go to more. She's and, right. Uh, and you okay. So that's become kind of a tradition. When my grandson turned 21, he got a set of tails. So it's a rite of passage in the Dean family that 21, you get a set of tails if you're a boy. Like and it. that's it. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, the Joe K. Parade is coming up Sunday. Chief yes. Slack will be walking in the parade. I'll be in my wagon in the I parade. I want to ask you about that. Oh, you're, uh, I'm you're in my right? wagon, yeah. Now, now, are you going to be... Uh, uh, walking with your crew toward the end? Where Basically, the way it's set up this year, I'll be mar uh, in the wagon in front of the Joe Kane Marching Society contingent of the original Joe Kane procession. Uh, we'll have uh, the Excelsior Band, as usual, the coal wagon with uh, the good uh, Muse Biscuit and Gus will be pulling me, and uh, at least 200 foot marchers, because that's what the city is wow. limited. So it'll be a wonderful day, just... Somebody said, well, you're going to be like Santa Claus this year. You know, in the Christmas parade, you have to wait to the end to see Santa. Santa <laughs> so this year, instead of seeing the chief out front, you have to wait to the end to see the chief, and then it's exciting. There he is. The big finish. The big finish. All right. Wayne Dean, thank you so much. I have an admirer of yours for years because you love Mardi Gras, maybe even more than I do, and I didn't think that was possible. But thank you for joining us. Enjoy the parade on our balcony tonight. It's always a pleasure. All right. Thanks so much. We are getting ready once again for the crew of Columbus. I'll just take that from you right here. We are uh, also going to be joined by Colton. He's coming uh, back from the party balcony as we get ready to enjoy Fat, well, I want to say, almost said Fat Tuesday. It's actually Fat Friday. I'm going to say Fat Friday. <laughs> <laughs> As we get ready, and, and the parade is arriving just in time. Okay, do you need your hard hat? I'm I, I think that I am going to need the hard hat tonight. Okay, I'm going to put my goggles on as we... <laughs> All right, as we prepare for the crew of Columbus, we're getting all set here. I'm going to put my goggles on. Let me take my hat off so I can get my goggles on. I'm serious. I'm serious about this. Yeah, we have to, like, we needed some, some armor from last night. We, we learned our lesson. We did. <laughs> now, I'm almost afraid that once I put, they look up here and see us with gar goggles and, and stuff on, that they're going to go, oh, <laughs> super target. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I hope you guys can still hear. Yeah, you can still hear me. Okay, I've got my goggles on. Let's see. Uh, Here, let me, you know, let me get all suited up now. These are fairly comfortable. All right. You should always use eye protection when you're around crazy people throwing stuff. All right. Uh, we're going to have, was it seven, 18 floats, I believe, in this parade. 18 floats, I think. And uh, let's see if we get our parade line up here. We do. We're good to go. 
Okay, Dar. I am ready you to rock and like roll. You look like a commando. I know our cameras tonight. are committed right now to the parade. <laughs> we'll take a look a little bit later and show you how how absolutely ridiculous Colton looks. I, I am mean not that in a going. Nice way. No, I am not going to uh, to risk it again like last night. Smart man. <laughs> Smart man. All right. Uh, it is a little bit cool out here this evening, but you know what? There's no wind, and it's actually better than last night. I think. Yeah, it is. Of course, you've got this. You've got this scarf on, the coat. I am chill. Look, I le I learned a lot of lessons last night, and that was number one: be prepared for anything that could happen in <laughs> in all of these parades, right. weather-wise and throw-wise, because we caught a lot of uh, crazy stuff. Our director has nutter bars. What else did we get? Oh, uh, there's a big you bag of Twix laying in there too, yeah. and f about. Uh, all, a thousand footballs last yeah. night, real and Nerf. Someone caught a pack of ham. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very exciting. It's a big uh, night. Uh, I checked the expiration date on that <laughs> ham before you. <laughs> Here we go. We are seeing some of the marshals on horseback. They look very nice. With Traditionally, marshals have thrown doubloons. I think they're throwing a lot of beads now. Uh, I, I don't see as many doubloons as I used to. That's almost become a, a thing of the past, I believe. I'd like to see a few more. Queen Kristen Ellard, I believe, yeah. if I'm seeing correctly. She is queen of the crew of Columbus for 2015 this year. Looking through these goggles that I'm wearing, <laughs> I realize everything's a little distorted. Well, thank the Shrimp Basket. They're sponsors tonight. Let, if you haven't gone, you are missing a delicious meal. Check them out tomorrow. Right now, the University of West Alabama is making their way onto Government Streets as the crew of Columbus continues to roll. Yeah, University of West Alabama was uh, one, one of their uh, former football players uh, helped win the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's listen. Here we go. University of West Alabama marching band. Livingston, Alabama. to adapt to our Mardi Gras colors down here tonight for this parade. The University of West Alabama from Livingston, Alabama, thank you so much for coming down and sharing Mardi Gras with us tonight. They sound great. They do sound fantastic. A couple facts on the crew of Columbus that are rolling tonight. They were founded in 1921, and their first parade was way back in 1922. You know something else uh, Wayne Dean was talking about a little bit earlier? In 1969, a fire destroyed the crew barn. Crew members had to rebuild most of the parade. That was in October. And then the parade night was rained out after all that work. Here's the emblem float for the crew of Columbus. And let the bee throwing begin. Here we go, Darwin. Whoa. <laughs> all right. I've got to pay more attention. What's up, Darwin? All, all right. right. OK, y'all there? All right. We are prepared for you tonight, crew That's of Columbus. Right. You do not scare us. <laughs> they cannot hear me. Okay, there's Corrupt. Columbus standing on top of the world. He has a little, uh, <laughs> a little uh, pirate. Uh, oh, not a pirate thing. That little lookout <laughs> thing there. All right. Ooh, what was that? Is that peanuts? And you can see the world globe revolving. And look at the. They got a lot of motorized on that. Uh, you have a compass on the back spinning. You'll yeah. see that in just a moment. A beautiful float. <laughs> the crew of Columbus. Look at the. Look at the headdresses. Beautiful. That is a great float. The crew of Columbus, Musselman and his crew have done a great, great job today. Yeah. Following behind the emblem float tonight is LaFleur High School with the fabulous dancing dolls. I said Musselman, Steve Mussel. <laughs> Let me correct myself before we go any further. LaFleur does a great job. Yeah, they really put on the show.
Floor High School tonight as the crew of Columbus gets ready to roll in their 2015 parade. You know, I want to say something else here. I'm getting a lot of history here. In August of 79, the crew, the MOMs and KRR, were burned out by an arsonist. Then in September, Hurricane Fred and Hitmobile destroyed what was left of their floats, and they rebuilt the parade and even loaned floats to others that were affected by Hurricane Frederick that, that next year. So wow. this crew has been through a lot, but tonight, a perfect night for them to parade through Mobile. We told you about the three ships of Columbus. You know what they are, right? Yeah, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Because you're taught that in school. <laughs> yes. Well, if you watch this parade every year, you'll know it by heart. Look at that gorgeous float. That is the Nina. Or Nina, as some would call it. Yeah. But Nina... Watch out, Dark. Whoa! <laughs> and they're throwing. That is a boatload of excited people. I have new beads. Yes. Oh, even more. Whoa. Oh, I got a football this time. Oh, and another, another football. <laughs> I feel a lot braver with my goggles on. I do, too. Something pretty funny happened today, uh, Darwin, really quickly. I got a Facebook message from a viewer of our Making Mardi Gras coverage who is in the crew of Columbus. And said... And said, be prepared. I'm on the Santa Maria, and whenever I see the two of you, you guys are going down. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know what? I got, also got a Facebook message or actually a text from our district attorney. She said there's a parade that Penelope House, you know, she works with them a lot, is in. She said if we have any leftover spoils from the parades, they'll take them, and they love to re-throw them. So oh, we're nice. going to collect these. And uh, thank you, Ashley Rich, for watching us. We appreciate that and all the work you do with Penelope House. And, of course, they help women who are uh, dealing with strife in their lives. So uh, ABC Rain High School Band walking along right now Another interesting fact about the crew of Columbus tonight is that they were the first parade to ever be pulled by motorized vehicles. Really? Previously to that, they used mules. It is so much more, I don't know what's more predictable, a mule or a motorized vehicle at that <laughs> time. Either one's going to stop on you, that one's going to break down on you. Yeah. McGruff the crime dog, Mardi Gras favorite. Once again, we are at NIA Mobile's location, uh, right here at the corner of Conception and Government. They have allowed us to use this building this year, and we love it. It's a great location. Red Square Media wants to house it. It's, it is uh, available, by the way. Shrimp basket. Yeah. Shrimp basket. Have you eaten shrimp basket? I love the shrimp basket. That fresh seafood and you know, I indulge in fried food every now and then. When I do, that's what I love. <laughs> I, look at this guy dancing on camera right now. <laughs> oh, he means, oh, he, you know what? Look at him. He's going to break it down. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work that camera. <laughs> Work it. Oh, here we go, Darwin. Get ready. The Pinta. They have got their sights set on us. <laughs> these, these floats are just gorgeous <laughs> and i'm glad oh oh just one. Oh, oh, holy cow here we go oh, what is that i don't know i don't know what it was but it was whatever not. it was would have hurt if, <laughs> okay if I'm gonna, oh i teased oh, it there's there another is, one uh, you know what oh okay i think those are i don't know bags of something it could be bags of ham you oh goodness all righty i'm telling you the people under this balcony are making out i'm looking at them down there and it, 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 looks, it looks like a sale at, uh, at, at Milks or something. They're just grabbing all the stuff off the ground. Wow. Okay, here comes, the here comes Santa, Maria. Santa Maria. This is the one that you said they were going to let us have it? Yeah. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there goes. Whoa. It's... It, these these boats are beautiful. Whoa. I think that's probably him right there. Y'all say, whoa, there we go. Bingo. I know. We're a bunch of like a kid, a bunch of kids up here. Mardi Gras brings out the kid in you. I can't help it. Oh, oh we nice. got a football. We did? Yes. <laughs> Just what we need, because I was wondering if we were going to get any more. I know. Seriously, we don't have enough oh, up here. Oh, now I know. Now I know. You know what? They've been throwing bags of marshmallows. To be able to throw a bag of marshmallows <laughs> up to a balcony from that distance is amazing. That is some straight talent right there. That, that is great. I'm going to have to get some hot cocoa later. 
That's Two great. more marshals following behind the Santa Maria tonight. I wonder if those were talking about the marshmallow. Uh, marsh, marsh, uh, I'm not going to go there. Don't do it, Darwin. Don't go there. Don't. Oh, goodness. Okay, moving right along. We got another band. The band's been great tonight. The Mary G. Montgomery High School Marching Band. You know what? They travel every year with the Condé Cavaliers before their parades. They go around and visit a lot of the homes. I mean, a lot of the, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I would just we throw can't show that on I camera. Show that. I don't even know where that came from. They, did somebody throw that? Uh, I wasn't up here before. All right, we, we'll, we'll talk about that later. And but, look, look at the crowd that is making their way. They're migrating all the way over here. They to sure our, are starting to grow here. But to say that, that this band travels around and visits all the nursing homes is so cool. Doing it old school. feel like I'm back in middle school again because my goggles are fogging up. <laughs> Darwin and I have on protective eyewear tonight we do. To, to save us from uh, the members of the crew of Columbus. Look at that little baby all bundled up. They're having a great time tonight. Oh, look at mom. She is laughing. That's what it's all about is just getting down here and being a kid again. Mom, dad, the children. That's right. Yeah, everybody else who shows up. Oh, heads up, Darwin. Whoa, once again, you're Here watching the crew of Columbus Parade. If you just joined us, the mighty is Oh, oh. <laughs> they are throwing like they oh, Here we go. <laughs> They're serious. Here they go. Here we go, Darwin. Brace yourself. Brace yourself, Whoa, Incoming. Captain. Incoming. <laughs> oh. Whoa, watch out, Darwin. Okay. We'll talk to you in a minute, folks. Right now, we're just trying to save ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're throwing confetti. How's that going oh, up here? Bro? Football. Football. <laughs> oh, goodness. All, All right. right. I think we're safe. Wait, no, we're not. <laughs> that, by the way, was Isabella. That's the Isabella floats. <laughs> oh, goodness. A little sea dragon going on there. She's Watch out, Connor. Uh, breathing beads uh, in football. Stage hand is getting pelted right now. All right, the Williamson High School Marching Band following behind the mighty Isabella. <laughs> to give you an idea of what it's like, get in your living room and throw all your beads as hard as you can at your TV set. You'll see what our monitors are going through up here right now. <laughs> I was like amazed that uh, <laughs> Samsung, you got a good product. By the way, don't forget to watch every morning starting at 4.30. Uh, it's me and Kelly Jones and D-Entertain with the weather with Local 15 today. We'll wake you up every morning at 4.30 until the Today Show at 7 with all your local... <laughs> We're going to get a shot of, uh, of oh, our, our get-up, our safety gear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're serious. We are very serious, you We're guys. We're joking about that. God, I look like a bug or something. <laughs> <laughs> we are at 202 Government Street. You see it on the screen right across from Government Plaza on Government Street in Conception. And we are loving this location. It is fantastic. Columbus and the New World hitting us right now at Government Street. We haven't even gotten to the Whoa, heads up dodge yet. <laughs> oh, is that Twizzlers? <laughs> oh, down boy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I, <laughs> Where do these people shop? I know. <laughs> oh, goodness. Two more marshals right now following behind Columbus in the New World. All right. I mean, we have, like, stocked up already, and we're barely into the parade. No kidding. <laughs> oh, by the way, you were saying that they were the first motorized uh, parade. Mm -hmm. The crew was also the first to electrically light their floats using generators and... Uh, 
they were also the first to redesign their float structure, allowing their members to enter the floats without the use of ladders. Wow. They actually had steps built in. So they were real innovators on the parade route over the years. Uh, these guys have been around. They know what they're doing. Okay, the mighty marching Tigers this evening. This is the crew of Columbus as Mardi Gras 2015 rolls on. The crew of Columbus was founded in 1921 with their first parade in 1922. And tonight's theme is run, run, run. We should be getting close to their theme floats in just a few moments. They have like 18 floats in this parade. So this is a long parade, lots of music in between. Uh, we have a limited description of the float. So we will have to get creative. Okay, this is the last voyage float. We're still dealing with uh, the crew. The uh, <laughs> here float. we go, darling. All right, still <laughs> dealing with the uh, traditional whoa crew floats. <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Oh, not do literally. Do not threaten them. <laughs> yeah. Do not tempt. Do not threaten them. <laughs> oh goodness. Oh man. All right. I think we're safe right now. You say that. I know. Oh, wait, they're slowing down, Darwin. This isn't good. No, oh, they <laughs> stopped. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. Woo! So the parade is temporarily stopped, which means they've got a lot of time to throw stuff at us. That's right. And I'm going to try to read <laughs> and duck. All right, Darwin, I'll block you and you read. All On right. the set. Ready, set, go. The crew was the first and only Mystic Society to use their members to build. To the left. From start to finish. Lean to the right. They're extremely proud to have Steve Muscle of Birthing Company build their Parade Mobile's finest parade builder. They're very proud of their floats, and they should be. They oh, are goodness. absolutely stunning tonight. <laughs> Good catch, Daniel. Yes. Daniel, our assistant, is running interference. It's kind of nice to have an assistant. I feel important. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is the Olympia. Olympia Marching Band. This is the Olympia Brass Band. A perfect example of a great brass band. Mobile has a, a good clutch of bass, brass bands, and they do a marvelous job with their sad clown in the front and sad clown in the back. Mobile's Olympia Brass Band. Since 1992, I mean, they've just been on the scene not that long either, but they have developed quite a following and tradition. They, they have. Their reputation very strong in Mobile, so very proud of them. Ah, oh, now we're getting into the theme. This yes. is the theme float. Look, it's got CLC on the front with a big shrimp, <laughs> crabs on the side. That is a Mardi Gras float. We've That's got right. a gumbo there. That's what that is, a shrimp and okra. It's, it's a gumbo with musical instruments and the big placard that says, run, run, Whoa. run. <laughs> oh, more ramen noodles. I Now I know why. <laughs> not, not ramen, run, ramen. It's run, run, run. <laughs> now I know, though, why the float is called run, 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 because that's what you want to do when you're being pelted with all this stuff. <laughs> 18 floats in this parade tonight. That's a lot. You know, I think that's the biggest one we've had so far. We've had up to 17. I believe so. And if, if the floats are all as good as the ones we've seen just as the uh, preliminary floats to the theme, you are in for a great parade. We're just getting started. And speaking of great parades, tomorrow night, the MOTs, the Mystics of be Time. A great We're carrying that one. That wasn't on our original list, but we managed to squeeze one more day of parade coverage in. And we're getting our feet wet this year, Colton. We're, we're, we're trying this out. If you like it, let us know on Facebook. Uh, let us know uh, on, on Twitter. Emails, Twitter. Let your friends know. 
Let us know that you like this. Let That's our right. sponsors know the shrimp basket. That means we'll do it again next year. Yeah. And if you want to uh, to call your friends who are out of town and uh, tell them what how awesome Mobile Mardi Gras is, you can always call them and tell them to go to local15tv.com and they can stream it's the parades online there. Streaming right now. In fact, we probably got some viewers watching our stream right now in different parts of the country, maybe around the world. So welcome to our coverage of Mardi Gras 2015 if you're watching online. That's right. Riverdale High School now making their way onto Government Street. Let's listen to Riverdale. Nice. Small band with a good sound, a big sound. Oh, yeah. And sticking with the theme of run, run, run. Get ready for, the, for their next float, Run Forest Run. Run Forest Run, there's a fox <laughs> and chocolates. <laughs> oh, they're getting ready to throw, dog. <laughs> so many references. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> look at all the references to <laughs> Forrest Gump. If you haven't seen Forrest Gump, look at this float. It'll be like you have. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll take that. He's trying to throw us a stuffed animal. Ain't going to make it. Oh, wait, Whoa. there we go, dog. That is a great float. Now you're starting to see the theme. If you looked at that float long enough, you will see so much from the movie Forrest Gump. Of course, theme based around the characters here in Mobile and Bayou the Bad Tree. That's right. Great, a great movie, Tom Hanks. A great float with the crew of Columbus. Following the ninth float in the parade tonight is Central High School. brought a combo with them. We're going to listen. It's a smaller band, but they've got everything they need to make some great music. Come to a parade and you'll figure it out pretty yeah. quickly. Following behind Central High School tonight is Run For Your Life. Yes, I know <laughs> what they mean. Okay, Friday the 13th is the theme on here, and you got some... Uh, Check out Jason on yeah. the back of the float. That is so cool. <laughs> and you know what? You're, they Always the characters run, but they fall down or do some other really stupid That's stuff. That's true. They run, and, and then they're always caught, and the end is not good. Heads up, Darwin Football! Whoa! <laughs> we're, sometimes if we grow silent, yes. we're not being rude. We're just trying to watch what's coming at our faces. We're taking cover. Yeah. Once again, the theme for this year's crew of Columbus, run, run, run. So you're going to see run in every float. That's right. And again, we cannot say thank you enough to the shrimp basket for helping make our making Mardi Gras coverage continue. I so want some shrimp right now. Right? Doesn't that sound that good? That sounds great. <laughs> And it's all fresh, it's all good, and it's uh, made any way you like, fried, steamed, broiled, blackened, you'll do it, it's good. Continuing on with the theme, run, run, run tonight, as the crew of Columbus continues down Government Street, is their next float titled Run For Your Luck, or Run Of Luck, I should run say. Run Of Luck. Uh, as if you've ever been to the casino and you, you know, started winning, <laughs> it's a run of luck. I've never experienced it. Can hey. we just... Well, yes, can we just take a second to, to say, hey, hey Mama. Mama. Oh, oh, hey, Mama. And he threw us some beads. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. It yeah. means a lot to Mama. Hey, Mama, Mama. You know who you are. Yes. If not, it's all you Mamas out there. Yes, he's going to throw oh, us some beads here now. We go. Those are for you, Mama. <laughs> Is that an outhouse on the back? I believe that that is an outhouse on the back. That's a totally different kind of run. <laughs> <laughs> I've run there many times. Oh, goodness. All right. 
I'm just saying, that's the theme. The Blowhouse Brass Band. We featured them the other day. These guys just got, to, got together in high school and said, you know what, let's start a band. We're glad they do. The 12th float of the night, continuing on with their theme of run, 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 is run for the roses. Beautiful. Oh, ouch, 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 that ouch, one ouch, hurt. Oh, oh, that one hurt. Oh, gosh. All right, okay, give me just a moment <laughs> to get my fingers. Oh, heads up, back. here we go again. Ah, all right. That's great, it's got a rocky, uh, a horse <laughs> actually galloping on the front. Uh, the feeling's coming back now, it's okay. There we go, all right, we're good now. All right. Just had to take a second to uh, take some deep breaths. <laughs> There went my manicure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just joking. I, I have no time for such. <laughs> oh, oh, that was a football. Straggler, yeah. Some more marshals continuing on as the crew of Columbus takes downtown Mobile. Again, if you want to, uh, to get in on all the action, come and hang with us. We're at the corner of Government Street and Conception, and all the people below us are loading up tonight. I promise you, you will go home with a cartload of stuff. <laughs> Stuff that you'll have all year long. Yeah. Oh, how cool is this? It's the Roadrunner. The road. I love the motorized uh, <laughs> floats because they're beautiful. There. Th look at that. That's where we are. And uh, oh, and heads people, up, Darwin. <laughs> people down below us are having a ball. Hopefully they'll keep. Hopefully they brought goggles with them to protect the best. Whoa! <laughs> wow. This one. I didn't even catch. Us have my hand out. Wow. And it just landed on there. What a great float. Following closely behind the Roadrunner, as you can see, is Wiley Coyote. Oh, yeah, yeah, is he is. Top of his rocket. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rocket on the rocket there. I love the little business card. Wiley Coyote genius. <laughs> that brain will travel. And Acme, of course, the uh, brand of dynamite used by all good cartoon characters. What a great float. Yes. These floats are fantastic tonight. Uh, the muscle group have outdone themselves tonight. 18 floats, 18 floats, that's so crazy. And there we are again, as you can see, the crowd is building underneath us as the crew of Columbus continues to roll on here in downtown Mobile. Thanks a lot to NAI for this beautiful, fantastic location and accommodations. How, how could you not like this? We've got our, our parade balcony we're waving from right now. We have our parking uh, party balcony. Oh, we have parking too, which is really good. That is true. Our party balcony around the corner, it's just fantastic. Jackson High School. Oh, up in Jackson, Alabama, just north of here. Yeah. Let's listen. a little bit of your band there. We so appreciate having them as guests in our city tonight. And we hope some of you make it down for a Fat Tuesday if you can. Jackson High School Marching Band. On the way, up next, a very famous run, the beer run. Gotta make the beer run. <laughs> oh, Schlitz. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm thinking, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm gonna deflect it. That maybe they've been sampling their own product? <laughs> yes. I got some crushed cans on the back. He's going for it again. Whoa! He's got it. Right in my hands. <laughs> Whoa! As you can see, the fraternity Whoa. house up top. <laughs> oh, that's a fraternity house, all right. <laughs> Something tells me that flow gets used a little more often than the others. I would believe so. Whoa! Now I know why we have cages over those lights. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, they've stopped. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Some marshals behind the beer run float as the crew of Columbus continues to roll on oh, here. I love Daniels just catching footballs and throwing them behind him here. He's our, our production assistant. He's just grabbing them and throwing them back here. I, have you looked around lately? I know. We're uh, we're rocking and rolling up here, Dar. Ashley Rich, DA, we have got some footballs for you. I'm trying to figure <laughs> out a way to get it to you tomorrow. Because, whoa. So you can give them to the uh, Penelope house for their parade. 
By the way, we want to thank everybody. We have su had such great response for our coverage. I, I get out and I, I'm at the grocery store wherever I go. Whoa! Thank you all so very much. And people, <laughs> yes. Yes. Darwin and I are still wearing our goggles, by the we way. We are. We are. Uh, and people have been so kind, and they have just said how much they've enjoyed watching the parades. We really. Oh, look at there. Oh, look at oh that. he's going to put. Yes, how That's nice. A, those are the good beads. <laughs> nice. Sweet. That was done with such love and kindness, <laughs> yeah. as opposed to what we've been receiving up here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Again, the crowd continues to build right here on Government Street. We're at the corner of Government and Conception, and we could not have a better Mardi Gras headquarters. Man. We've got our party balcony and our parade balcony, and uh, a little bit later on on the party balcony, you'll catch some more of Jonesy and the Crown Jewels, as well as Moe's Original Barbecue. There we are on top there. By the way, uh, be sure to stay tuned to Local 15 and UTV 44. All right, trying to uh, make our way past the cameras here. Police are trying to get ahead of us here. Hope not the drawing, the great stop for just a moment. But uh, once again, we have uh, Local 15 News, the UTV 44, 9 o'clock edition coming up after the parade. And then, of course, at uh, 10 o'clock, fresh news on UTV 4, uh, Local 15. It's, it's confusing sometimes. I know, right? Uh, 10 o'clock, Local 15 with Greg and Kim. 9 o'clock, Greg and Kim on UTV 44. Just catch the latest news headlines and weather because Fat Tuesday right now. Have you been looking at the forecast? I know, Darwin. Don't, I'm, let's just let's. I'm hoping it changes let's right now. Keep our fingers crossed. Right now they're saying rain, but we're going to be here rain or shine. You might as well come on down and get under this balcony with us. Uh, let's take a look. There's a long shot down the street. The parade has stopped for a few minutes. We saw the police going by a moment ago. Maybe we've had a breakdown or something. That happens every now and then. But look, look at that shot. Look at the crowd tonight. We, this is the best crowd we've had so far. It's Friday night. People don't have to get up early tomorrow morning. That's at, right. Uh, ridiculous hours to go into work. <laughs> you can expect that downtown Mobile will be rocking tonight. Oh, and tomorrow night, look out, MOTs. Yeah. It is going to be a great weekend. Tomorrow night, Darwin is going to be off, so my radio big brother and co-host on 95KSJ, Matt McCoy, is going to fill in. Whoa! <laughs> almost knocked my hat off. Oh, that's, that's what we get for not paying attention. That's right. I didn't, where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you say Matt McCoy, and the whole yes. world falls in. Yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> that, uh, that's a dangerous combination, if you ask me. Matt and I? Yeah, I think we might need Dan Shelby up here between you two. <laughs> 95 KSJ so supportive of our efforts, so we do appreciate it. Allowing Colton to uh, get up here on the balcony and, and make this a lot of fun because uh, it's no fun to have a party by yourself. You have to have somebody to share it with. That's and right. We have been having a great time. Just Our, like that guy who was dancing down there on Government Street. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's dancing oh, with the horses. Yeah, now the horse is following him. <laughs> horse whisperer. You want to move by? Oh. You know, the horses get restless. They're ready to go. <laughs> it looks like the next float behind, they're getting a little anxious and ready to rock and roll. They're rocking the float. Speaking of rocking and rolling, Jonesy's. Are they not awesome? I, I'm telling you, she played the bongo. She played trombone. She's going to be playing a little while later in the backup band. I mean, she's just fantastic. She, she is fantastic. She does it all. We're, yeah. We're, we are looking forward to hearing from them again after the parade. That's right. And we have more with Moe's Barbecue and as they continue to cook that uh, that fish and grits. And that, I swear, it, it smells, smells good there, so it? good in that kitchen. Fish and grits smell great anywhere you make them. But they were black. Were they doing black and fish? Yeah. Is that what they were doing? Mm -hmm. And they also have their, uh, their Mardi Gras bushwhackers tonight, too. So good. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, and, and we had, if you just joined us, Wayne Dean, who portrays Joe Kane's version of Slackabama Renico. Say he, that one more time. Chief Slackabama Renico. <laughs> Most people whip out and say Chief Slack. Yes. Not here. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Uh, but uh, he gave us a lot of, you didn't get to hear it, but he gave us so much great Mardi Gras insight about this crew and just about Mardi Gras in general. He has been to 870-something parades. He's been counting them. I think it's 873. Not parades, I'm sorry. Balls. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he and his daughter have this thing.
okay, if you go to a ball, for it to count in our little tally, mm -hmm. you have to do certain things. You gotta go talk to people you don't know, you gotta talk to people you do know, you gotta have a drink, you have to eat something, you have to dance, or it's not a, it's not attending a ball. Wow. It doesn't count in their little uh, counting game they have. And that's the cool thing about Mobile Mardi Gras, there's so much family connection into it. There is, and, and families have been doing it for years, and if you join an organization, a lot of times that means your son or daughter has an end to get into the organization. Yeah. And so it is a very much a family tradition. Now, the most interesting organization, and we had them on earlier this week, the Merry Widows. Oh. I don't know if you caught this, but I asked one of the Merry Widows, I said, so how does how does a lady become a Merry Widow? And she said, and I quote, are you a dunce? <laughs> you have to be married to Joe Kane. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say, there are no ladies <laughs> in the Merry Widows. <laughs> Oh, goodness. She also said a lot of stuff that I cannot repeat over the air. That's true. <laughs> there, there was a fluid moment there where I was, my, my jaw hit the ground. I'm going, wow, I've learned so much more I didn't expect to learn. Uh, okay, uh, we have some movement in the parade route now. I I think it's just a minor adjusting. No, it looks like the parade's starting to move. Uh, we're seeing the float starting to move a little bit down the street. So this parade will get going again in just a few moments. Uh, once again... Oh, cool. <laughs> Shelby and her husband, the fireman, are watching. To share the experience that Darwin and I have going on right now, they are also at home wearing goggles and hard hats. Oh, my goodness. I wish we could throw a bead at your face right now. <laughs> As the crew of Columbus oh, gets ready goodness. to roll on here in downtown Mobile. If you're not familiar with Shelby, we talk a lot about Shelby. <laughs> Dan and Shelby, the mornings on 95 KSJ. Uh, they are just so much fun to be around and, and really good people. Uh, I have to say that because next time uh, she'll she'll hurt me. She'll beat me with her goggles. Yes. And I don't say something nice about her, but they're great people. And I am uh, I'm getting a text message from someone who is in the parade who says that someone on the very first floats fell off and, uh, and no. smacked their head. But they're okay, and that's why the parade has stopped right now. They're okay. All right. You know, I'm not surprised too because the way they throw. You know, it, if you're trying to, I'm surprised it hadn't happened in front of the balcony because right. when they're throwing so hard. They lean way over the edge of the float. It's real easy to fall off. That's right. Well, I guess it's real easy to fall yeah, off. Here, <laughs> Some more of the crowd underneath oh. our balcony here at Local 15. Oh, are we getting ready? Uh, yeah, to since we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and go on camera and do a little <laughs> chatting. <laughs> uh, because uh, we got a little bit of time here, so they got to... I guess when something like this happens, the police department has to come up, check it, make sure everything's okay, uh, because that's just what they do. That's right. Before we can continue to roll on, You know, I'm just looking around. I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to get set up here, and I want to see if we can show you <laughs> oh. this madhouse of debris <laughs> that is down here. Uh, it's everywhere. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, and we are still wearing our goggles, by the way, as you can see. My hard hat is right here beside me because I got to take it off because the parade has stopped. Well, I mean, if and we're look, in between floats right now. I don't know if you can show the floor <laughs> here, Vanya, but, uh, I mean, there's just... <laughs> It's, it's insane. There's so much stuff down here. Again, some interesting facts about the crew of Columbus is that they were founded in 1921, and their first parade rolled in 1922. When the Miss USA pageant was hosted in Mobile, here in Mobile, the Mobile crew was selected to provide floats and maskers to stage a Mardi Gras parade to open the telecast for Miss USA for the first and only time ever someone other than Christopher Columbus rode on top of the world and that special event, it was Miss USA, rode on top of the world for that special telecast wow. and special Mardi Gras parade. How cool is that? And, and some other interesting facts that we were talking about earlier is that they were the very first parade to ever use motorized vehicles. All other parades before that used mules, which the marching bands loved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Also, they were the first to electrically illuminate their floats and the first to have steps in their floats so you wouldn't have to crawl onto them with ladders. So that was, uh, that was the, they've been really innovators in the Mardi Gras parade tradition. They, they didn't just sit around and wait for things to get better. They just made them happen. That's right. And there are 18 beautifully designed floats in tonight's parade. That's right by the Steve Muscle Group. They have been building these floats for years. Uh, these folks call them the best float builders in Mobile. I would, I would put them up against some of the uh, ones in New Orleans as well. I mean, we, we've been building folks at Mardi Gras for, 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 for well, hundreds of years. Uh, 
also the permanent float Isabella, the sea serpent we saw a little while ago. Mm -hmm. And built, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Yeah, they were built, uh, well, now I know Isabella was built in 1992, the largest and longest single unit float in the Mobile Mardi Gras. That's a long, you know, I noticed it was an awfully long float. It took a while to around that corner down there. Which, by the way, tell them where we are. That's right. We're on the corner of Government Street and Conception. Thanks to NAI Mobile, we have these awesome balconies in this facility that uh, lets us do our making Mardi Gras coverage. Yeah, and we there we are. You can see us down below. By the way, this will be our headquarters for Fat Tuesday as well. Let me tell you about our Fat Tuesday coverage because I know some of you may not make it down here. We, we want you to be part of it, and that is this is the way it's going to work. We're going to come down here, of course, live on Local 15 today, I think. I'll be manning the studio. Kelly's going to be down here roaming the streets. I don't know why she's not playing, but she's going to do something. <laughs> uh, Deidre will have your weather. And uh, then around 10 o'clock or so, I think it's an order of Athe uh, Athena and KOR, and we've got the Comic Cowboys. And Mamga. And Ma uh, yeah. Well, first of all, those morning parades are going to be on Local 15. Then, as we get into the afternoon with the Mamgo Parade, we switch back over to UTV 44, like we are now, and then we'll wrap up Mardi Gras 2015 uh, with the Double uh, OMs, Order of Myths, that will happen on UTV 44, just like we're doing right now in the evening. So right. check our website, local15tv.com, where we're streaming this right now, and you can see our broadcast schedule yeah. for Fat Tuesday for which stations and what parades. We want you to go ahead and check. And don't forget to call your friends and family who are out of town. I've got friends who are watching live from New York City right now. Uh, we're streaming online at local15tv.com as well. That's really cool. They're up there watching us and uh, realizing that. Are they from here and always know it, or are they just brand new? They are not. So they, they're, they're getting them a little education right Yes, now. and so I have to give a shout-out to Joanna Franco, who is watching right now live from New York City. Joanna, we love you. <laughs> Thanks for watching us. It's a it's a little warmer down here than I imagine it might be <laughs> yeah. up there. I think they're bracing for more snow, aren't they? I believe so, and I am, like, freezing tonight, as you can see. You I'm know, all bundled up. I have actually warmed up since those beads hit the ends of my <laughs> fingers and they got numb. I really am not feeling much pain right now. I wish, I'm glad that they have a camera on us right now so that way you can see how ridiculous we look with these goggles. My goggles are fogging up. Like, I'm in the seventh grade in, you know, science <laughs> class right now. Science! <laughs> Dexter's lab, I know. Well, you know, I mean, it's a good idea. You know what? If, if you're, uh... Okay, well, we... Let's, let's talk about that. Okay, we have just... We're telling us right now that you were right, Colton. The information you received has something to do with someone falling off a float, but they're going to be okay. That's right. And as we can see right now, it looks like the parade is just now moving very slowly. Excellent. All right. Which means that we might get back into our coverage here in just a Good second. Deal. Can I thank the MOTs, by the way, for this beautiful jacket? For years, years and years, I've been working with the MOTs, covering their parades, their float barn uh, previews and so forth. I mean, they're really good friends of ours at Local 15 yeah. and mine. And uh, they surprised me uh, about a year ago, said, we've got something special for you. What's your coat size? And I'm thinking, what's my coat size? And then they presented me with this. That jacket's and, awesome. Well, I, every time I wear it, people <laughs> just, I was riding a Bentley convertible in the Bayport Parading Society the other day, and people, I'm riding this beautiful convertible, and people are saying, love the jacket. Oh, here we go. There we go. Listen as, as the crowd Excellent. applauses. Now we know what run, run, run means. Let's That's get this parade back running again. Yeah. Whoa. Their All next right. one, home run. Makes sense. Cracker Jacks and baseball Whoa. garb and peanuts. And Someone, I need peanuts. Come on, you guys. I haven't caught any oh, yet. Oh, they're not throwing peanuts. Those would be too soft. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no, peanuts. No, come on. You were this close, so man. so weird this that they would know we said peanuts, because I know they can't hear us. Yes. I love their costumes, though. Look, they are actually uh, uniforms, uh, kind of like baseball uniforms and sat sat satin. <laughs> Looks great. Crew of Columbus Parade for 2015 on Friday night before <laughs> Fat Tuesday. Oh, look, on the back. 44. Let's see. I'm going to try to get... On the back of the float. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. UTV 44. I'm going to try to get our, our camera guy. I spotted some uh, some of my friends from Satsuma High School as they're getting ready to uh, make their way ah, down Government Street. That's right. Go Gators. Spirit of Satsuma. <laughs> Alma 
water in a parade. As represented, you know. Yeah, it does. So well. I mean, because especially uh, a, a smaller school that does such a great job with their music. They, de they deserve some attention, and they are getting it tonight. So that Suma High School has been in a bunch of the parades. They have really worked this, this parade season. Oh, heads up, Darwin. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Our next great. float continuing on with the Run, Run, Run theme tonight is the Running of the Bulls. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> I know exactly how they feel. I promise. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> Look, he's... Oh, here we go. To the left, Darwin. Whoa. Take it back now, y'all. All right. <laughs> Too hot this time. Oh, you're up here doing the Cuban shuffle or something, aren't you? What are you doing? This it's over? working to avoid the beads right now. All right. The debris. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I actually, usually I'm just deflecting something. I caught a move by. What is that? I caught a football. A very spiky you know what football. That reminds me of Stewie. <laughs> Two more marshals following in order with the crew at Columbus tonight. <laughs> Look at the crowd tonight. The crowd is definitely, this is probably the biggest crowd that we've seen. Now. Starting yeah. to grow now. I'm looking around this table. There's no cookies. There's <laughs> folks, marshmallows. Everything here. Jukebox Brass Band, I believe is who this is. The runaway twerk, the runaway twain. Runaway twain. Runaway twain. <laughs> Elma Flight said. Coming the out of the tunnel. <laughs> the twain's coming out of the tunnel. Oh, <laughs> that is so cheesy. I'm sorry I even went there. <laughs> that is a great flow. That is a very awesome flow. I love trains anyway. I was a model train freak when I was a child. I they have definitely tied in a lot of mobile references with the GMNO building and with their yeah. next float that's making their way down government streets, Azalea Trail Run. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful float. Oh, there's a box of, oh, what was that? We're getting a box of Kleenex. I need those peanuts that just landed. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you know, I was editing that. I was editing the MOT story today, and I have found a bag of peanuts somewhere from a previous boy, and I was so hungry, and I ate them all. I think I even ate the shells. Nice. Wow. Oh, we're, we're at the end. We are at the here. end. But we're not finished with our coverage tonight. Oh, no. This parade has just been spectacular. Crew Columbus, you really did it right tonight. What a great show. And you had a good crowd. I'm actually eating a moon pie. I mean, I eat them, but usually not on the air, so. Uh, Colton is making his way over to the party balcony. Run, run, run was the theme to tonight's parade. Mobile's fire rescue truck right now in your picture as they wrap up the parade and coming behind them, of course, Public Works and the police department. Public Works, I'll tell you what, I love giving them a shout out every night because they amazingly transformed the streets of Mobile into something Halfway presentable before the next parade. They're out there moving the barricades back. And then a little while ago, uh, from now, they'll be coming through and cleaning up as much debris as they can until the next parade. But I'm always amazed that when I come down here to how good the city looks after a parade. To someone who just walked into the city, you might see something laying around a few wrappers. But man, when you think of what they have to clean up every night, they do an amazing job. Our hats off to them and uh, all of our public servants throughout working police and fire to make these parades safe and enjoyable for all of us. Crew of Columbus wrapping up 2015. What a great parade. Now, don't go away. We're just we're just getting started. We've got a lot more fun tonight. Of course, we've got music, and we've got some great, delicious food coming up in our Mardi Gras kitchen. So uh, hang with us a little bit longer. Colton is getting prepared over there for some more music and food. He is ready now. Let's toss to Colton in the party balcony. Colton, take it away.
Thanks, Dar. As you can see, I am hanging on our, our party balcony, as I should say, and I've got Jonesy and the Crown Jewels with me tonight. And Jonesy, I can guarantee you that you have made even more fans who are watching at home tonight. Awesome. So That's where awesome. can they find you at online, social media-wise? Okay, you can check our website. That's www www.jonesyjonesmusic.com www.jonesyjonesmusic.com We're also on Facebook, Crown Jewels Band and you can find us on YouTube, our YouTube channel, Jonesy Jones Music. Awesome. And uh, it is Mardi Gras weekend uh -huh. and I can only bet that you guys are going to be throwing down somewhere this weekend. So where can people who are watching at home, if they want to get out this weekend and see you guys live somewhere, where can they catch you guys performing? Well, tonight we'll be at Room 158 in Sarah Lynn, and on Sunday we'll be at the Garage Downtown Mobile. Monday we'll be at the Gumbo Shack in Fairhope. So you guys check us there. i also like to add, March 15th we're doing a big show at the Temple Downtown Mobile. It's a big showcase. It's free for the public. We want kids there. We want your entire family. March 15th. Nice. Come out. There you go. Mark your calendars. All right. Jonesy and the Crown Jewels. Are you guys ready to bring some funky music tonight? Yeah. Take it away. We are making Mardi Gras. for It's that electro funk. We call this petrol funk. They call it techno funk. Funk, but I'ma give it to you and I'm give you what you want. What you want. Hey. Let me give it to you. are filling our Make It Mardi Gras kitchen, and we are about to our stuff up next. Darwin here with me to my right. How are you, man? I could crawl into that warm <laughs> pan right there. It smells <laughs> in this now. From Moe's Barbecue is hanging with us. All right, so what do we do next after we get our fish cooking? Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> we just uh, plated it up on the over bed of grits, and uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Go ahead, let's get a bite. Darwin, you want to take something here? Any particular about the grits that you've done here? We use Kaneka sausage, onion, jalapeno, a little bit of chicken broth, and we finish them with some heavy cream. Heavy cream. Uh, they're dynamite. Yum. All right, I'm going to take a bite, too. I want a piece of this fish. This fish looks so good. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. Is it good, Darwin? Yes, it is. I don't want this all right, well, I stuff my face really quickly once I can get this. Here, you hold this. You talk about what's coming up on UTV and on Local 15 tonight. All right, coming up at 9 o'clock on UTV 44, of course, we've got the news with uh, Greg Peterson. And then at 10 o'clock on Local 15, we have the news with Greg and Kim. So be sure to check it out. They have the latest news and headlines. And, of course, the weather, which we're all looking forward to this weekend. I think it's going to be clear this weekend for the MOTs tomorrow night. We're going to have it live here on UTV 44. Take this. That's it. <laughs> Yes. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night. Darwin is going to take the weekend off, and that means that my radio big brother and co-host on 95KSJ, Matt McCoy, will join me right here as Making Mardi Gras continues live from downtown Mobile. Darwin, we will miss you. Are you okay? Stop. What? Have you had enough of that yet? No, yeah, this is delicious. These grits, so right good. on. Oh. <laughs>
Party. All right, one last time, Mark. You are the uh, the Mardi Gras headquarters for folks who are coming to to party and eat and uh, get ready for for Fat Tuesday, right? And Joe Day. Bring it on. You can stay with us all day long, start to finish. Nice. Very nice. All right, now we have a, a couple seconds left of the show. Darwin, would you like uh, to grab yourself a glass over there? And we will... Well, this is that would be their Mardi Gras bushwhacker. That's why it's green tonight. Yes. <laughs> okay, Mark. Anything else at Moe's Original Barbecue that we need to know? Man, we always got stuff going on. Uh, you know, coming up in March, we got a guitar barbecue with Kanan Smith going on, and then in April we have a uh, beer fest. So. Nice. There you go. Still got it going on. That's right. All right. Your size down there at Moe's. The, I mean, the the meat.